Woods, who wants to know, asked Attorney Melissa Duncan to educate us on our rights when it comes to death. And this is a common line of thinking. A family member passes away and you're going to be stuck with their debt. That is a common line of thinking, but in most cases, you are not responsible for your family member's debt when they pass. Usually the debt goes to the estate of your family member, unless you co-signed on the debt, then you would be jointly responsible for that debt. Otherwise, you cannot be held responsible. Okay, now, her firm specializes in debt issues, and one of your most common calls, you say, is about student loans and filing for bankruptcy and how that does not make student loans go away. Unfortunately, it does not. In most cases, there are some extreme circumstances, but for most folks, you cannot wipe out student loan debt in bankruptcy. However, you should look into income-based repayment, deferment options, basically ways to lower your payment or push the debt back, but there's no way to wipe it out in bankruptcy for most folks. All right, gotta pay that. All right, you always hear about those debt consolidation companies and the way it works is you pay them and then they take your payments and try to bargain with the creditors, which sounds okay, but you say there's some key points we need to know. There are, you just wanna look out for scams because they are out there, so you want to do your research, be sure you read through the paperwork, know who you're sending your money to, and just know that while you're paying your money to these debt consolidation companies, they're usually holding the money and not paying it out for a year or two, and you can be sued during that time frame. That's right. It doesn't take you legally out of paying the debt to those creditors, even though you're working with this company. All right. And a lot of people think, if I file for bankruptcy, then I'm done, I'm off the hook, but even filing for bankruptcy is costly. It is. There are fees. Um, there's attorney's fees and court fees, and you should talk to an attorney to find out how you can work on making those payments to get the attorney's fees paid, and there usually are payment options, um, but there is a cost to file bankruptcy. All right, and we're talking about a couple thousand dollars or so, right. just to give you a little bit of a price point. Another key point to know about creditors and debt is if you have, let's say, a $10,000 debt, they forgive half of that. You're not off the hook totally for that $5,000 that they were given. Unfortunately not, and a lot of people don't realize that when they are negotiate, negotiating with their credit card companies. So what you need to know is that if you do have a debt that's settled, at the end of the year, you'll, you'll get a 1099 for the amount that was settled. So then it becomes taxable income that you will have to list on your tax returns. Right, and that could cause you to pay some to the IRS because of that debt that was forgiven. Unfortunately right? so. All right, thank you for sorting all of that out. Now, Melissa had several other key points about foreclosure and bankruptcy, and those key points are in the Two Wants to Know section of our website, wfmindnews2.com. This Friday, you are going to have the chance to speak with a lawyer for free. Attorneys will be taking calls.